South Korea, population of 51 million people, has accomplished on introducing the culture to the world and through K-pop, K-beauty, K-food, our culture has influenced many lives in the world and taught people how to enjoy lives in our ways. And this, this is about beer. Something that's globally connected and what we all enjoy in life. No differences in our background. K-beer. This is Beer Tour in Seoul. Hello, welcome back to Beer Tour in Seoul. Uh, my name is Jonathan and today I will be introducing Terra, the South Korean beer by height. So this is Terra. Um, it was first released in South Korean market on year 2019 March. It was very recent. It was very recent in time. And one thing I love about Terra is their level design. Uh, it's fully green with a triangular shape in the middle with the name on it. Back in the time, back in the history, uh, a while back when Mesopotamia uh, has first discovered a beer uh, was named Shikaru. It was the first beer that was ever invented in the history of human being. So the reason I'm mentioning is that because when they wrote a symbol about beer, uh, when they engrave letters, symbols to identify or symbolize something, beer was shaped almost like a triangle triangle with the watermarks and that represented beer at the time back in the Mesopotamian years and here in Terra uh, well not exactly the same but similar to that no, 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 no. and it's also green green color you might think that when it's green you would think that this will have a, have a strong taste of pop because Pop is also green, but no. Uh, Terra was brewed with Australian malt and Russia, Hungary, Serbian starch and uh, hop pallets from Germany. It's almost Christmas season, and it's the another reason that uh, I would be drinking Terra <laughs> during Christmas. It's just... So it's almost Christmas season, and a lot of colors represents, represent Christmas and one of the colors is green from the pine tree. I would think that Terra will be the perfect beer to enjoy during Christmas with your loved ones, especially when you're coupled. Now I will show you how it looks like inside. Hey look! A Terra beer and a Terra glass. No, I did not steal this from the restaurant. No. It's, it is one of the glasses that you would usually find in every restaurant in South Korea, yes. But I did not steal it. It's a present from one of my friends, so. No! So, the color. Similar to the previous video on the pass, uh, there's a lot of bubble, yes, and that means uh, carbonation, obviously. So look, uh, it's a clear golden color and a lot of carbonation. And I don't smell much of hop. A little bit of thin scent from the malt. For some reason, I smell the bitterness, but uh, well, I have to taste it first before I identify what it is. Cheers. The in 
interesting that I just realized is that I mentioned when I was looking at the color that I did not smell malt but a thin scent from that malts that were used for brewing. However, when I tasted it, it was, it was quite, a, quite the opposite. I did taste a little bit of hop and at the same time, but not as strong as the hop, but there was still a maltiness existing in here. But it's, as you know, Korean beer is worldly known for, its, for being a heavily carbonated beer. And Terra is also one of the heavily carbonated beer in South Korea. So let me try once more. So there's crispiness and smooth taste to the mouth. One more. I would say that this is not as light as Kas, the previous beer that I I've introduced you guys. And the amount of crispiness and that taste to taste in mouth and that little bit of mix of hop and a malt, a minimal taste of both, I'd say it goes along if you mix a soju, one of Korean liquor with this beer and make Somek is the perfect match, I would think. Somek is, if, I don't know if you know what the highball is, it was one of the traditional Japanese watery liquor mix drink a water mix alcohol drinks and so make is great style of highball and I would say Terra is goes along with soju very well I, I would assume that Terra will be a perfect to make so well I did say that they've included German hops but it's more specifically, they used hop palettes. Hop palettes are more advanced and more advanced up-to-date type of ingredients and it's essential for brewing beer because, well, hop is a fundamental ingredient when we brew beer and the tastes are all dependent on the condition of where it grew and most of the time especially like South Korea hops are imported from foreign countries and hop palettes making hop palette is a great invention in beer history because uh, the raw hop incised are heavy and big and sometimes when we import from overseas the conditions might wreck the quality of the hop and we would expect the taste from hop but once it gets here the taste changes everything ever since the hop palette came out uh, brewing beer has become more convenient because uh, like I've mentioned in countries where they're trying to brew their own beer and you need to import those hops Hop palettes uh, is more efficient than just regular raw hops and quality assuring method for shipping hop and because it's air packed and it's condensed and palettes makes it cheaper to purchase as well. The current ambassador for Terra is Kong Yu. Uh, he is an actor, South Korean actor, who appeared on television drama, K-drama, called Goblin. Um, ever since it has launched on year 2019, March, about 200, 200 million bottles were sold within four months. With the collaboration between the best actor and the best brewing company in South Korea, uh, they made another history, South Korean beer. So it's... Well, I got this beer off the mart for... Without accounting the exchange rate, I'd say 
it costs around two dollars uh, US. It's a cheap beer, but if you're looking for a cheap but light and quality wise beer, then Terra is, I'd say, one of the high quality beer that you could enjoy for cheap price. So if you ever visit South Korea, well, after the whole situation is well off, uh, and I hope that everybody is doing well and enduring, and I hope everybody can uh, fight this off together if we follow the protocols. And after everything as well, everything becomes well. Uh, I recommend you to try Terra in South Korea. But if you are capable of uh, capable of purchasing Terra in local areas from where you live, then I say go ahead, try. It's a light beer again, um, uh, light, watery, carbonate, heavily carbonated beer that you could enjoy. You know, just one can or two before sleep and it puts you to nice sleep you have quite a word so this was about Terra and I would and I will give uh, four and a half out of five in overall for the beer because uh, let's compare it to Cass in the previous video because uh, I gave Cass Four out of five, and I gave, I just gave four point five out of five for Terra. The reason behind that is because Cas is, although it's a great beer, it lacks that taste at the end. It just quickly washes off. Terra has that end taste lasts longer than Cas, which I like personally, and it's one of the styles I look for when I find a good beer. And heavily carbonated style of beer is one of the top beers and the beer that people enjoy to drink. It's most common beer and we are used to this taste and style. It's a matter of personal perspectives, how you look at into beer. You can say that this is not how beers are supposed to this is not how the beer is supposed to taste like but in the end you know time just travels by and young kids gets used to new things new tastes and it is us that we have to evolve and adapt to the new changes and new tastes and I'd say if you want to try new things go for it you know don't stick to the old all of the things like technologies are evolving why not beer and i recommend this highly carbonated terra uh, okay thank you for watching my video again um, if you ever had the chance to drink terra please leave your own personal review on this terra down below in the comments and Please subscribe to my channel and like the video and I will come back with new interesting well not new but another interesting Korean beer thank you very much this was beer tour in Seoul by Jonathan bye